Good afternoon. It is 12.02 p.m. on Friday, November 8, 2024. And joining us is meteorologist from the National Weather Service Guam office, Brandon Eidlet. Brandon, Mr. Eidlet, please tell us what's going on because on the screen I see three weather systems, uh, one near Chuk, one near Kwajalein, uh, one that's already west of Guam, Saipantinian and Rota. Um, this looks like a scary thing. What's happening? Yeah, we are that time of year, wet season, November. Uh, we typically see quite a few disturbances. And, and this time we are watching several disturbances. We have the, the typhoon that is passing to the west of Philippines. So uh, thankfully that's not affecting us. Uh, however, uh, the past 24 hours, we've seen the Joint Typhoon Warning Center kind of ramp up the communication regarding three of the disturbances. The first one uh, being the one that brought us all the showers and thunderstorms yesterday especially on Guam. Invest 92 uh, just got labeled uh, 92 this morning. That is moving away from the Marianas. Good thing, uh, but that is expected to continue to uh, organize, possibly becoming a tropical depression, uh, maybe in the 24, 48 hour time frame. Now, the two that we are watching very closely for our region, uh, first is 93, Invest 93, that is just to the north of Kwajalein. It is moving off to the uh, west-northwest, and uh, looking at all the conditions, the sea surface temperatures, atmospheric winds, that one does show the potential for some rapid uh, organization. Uh, so we could be looking at a tropical depression somewhere in the, trop uh, in the next 24 to 36 hours as it continues passing over the northern atolls of the Marshall Islands. So that's the one that we're going to be watching for uh, for middle of next week. So we've still got some time. It's still got quite a bit of distance to cover. Um, the, the models do show it passing, uh, continuing west-northwest, but as it approaches uh, the 150 degrees longitude, so east of the Marianas, there is some question, does it shift up to the north? Does it continue into the Marianas? And, and so that's going to be dependent on a passing cold front uh, by the middle of next week. Uh, so it's something that we're watching. Nothing to take action on right now, uh, except watch the forecast this weekend. Now, closer to home, that Invest 94, the third one that just got labeled this morning, uh, that is south of Ponte and Chuk. We are expecting to see a, a northwest motion. Uh, all the computer models do agree on that northwest motion. Uh, we're looking at uh, the most likely scenario passing between Yap and Guam, uh, maybe late weekend, early, uh, sometime Monday timeframe. So Sunday, Monday timeframe. Now, whether this one tightens up, organizes uh, by then, uh, it's not quite as certain as 93. So the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is uh, calling it a low uh, formation potential, which means uh, formation into a tropical depression not expected in the next 24 hours. We're going to be watching that because uh, as it does move, even if it stays weak, we do have that potential for uh, increasing uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, Sunday into Monday. And, and then also the potential for increasing wind gust. And, and so wind gust is going to be the thing to watch out for. Even if sustained winds are not that concerning, uh, you get those heavy showers, brings very strong short-lived wind gust. And uh, especially with Veterans Day coming up, uh, we're going to have tents, canopies, people out barbecuing, uh, being with family and friends. Keep that in mind. We've got some good weather coming up today, tomorrow, but watch the forecast. What's your forecast as of now for um, uh, uh, these two storms that are next to each other, 93 and 94, cannibalizing each other? And what's your other forecast for uh, either 93 or 94 eating the other one up and becoming that much stronger? Yeah, um, cannibalizing uh, tropical disturbances, that is one of the things that we do look for. Um, sometimes we see that in tropical cyclones. In this case, they're both kind of moving parallel. They're not showing a lot of direct interaction uh, as the models push them off to the west-northwest or northwest. Um, so we're still seeing two discrete systems, uh, 94 passing uh, somewhere near Guam or to the southwest Sunday, Monday, and then uh, maybe late week, uh, midweek for 93W as it approaches the Marianas. Ultimately, for the forecast, what we are putting into the forecast now Increasing showers Sunday into Monday. So we're looking at a kind of a wet, uh, gusty pattern. And then those showers could persist uh, into midweek as 93 approaches. And, and then whether it goes north or continues into the Mariana Islands, 
Um, we're still looking at that uh, elevated rainfall potential. Is this one of those things where it's still, for both of these storms, it's just still too early to call any type of certainty, including uh, the certainty that uh, it will be raining next week? Yeah, right now the certainty does focus on that rainfall potential. Um, the certainty regarding 93W, I, I would say, is quite a bit less. Uh, we're seeing a lot of range of potential in the in the various models. And uh, so at this point, um, it's one that we're going to be watching as it slowly consolidates. And uh, and then uh, once the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has classified as a, as a tropical depression, perhaps uh, tomorrow or later tomorrow, then we're going to get that forecast track. And, and then that will kind of give a, another point of data that we can really focus a lot of our forecast onto. Let me ask you, um, are you more worried about this event than the, the previous three, four events? That's, that's a good question. The, the difference between the prior events, they've all been formative near us. And so from an impact level, it's not so, not so hazardous on the impacts because it's forming, it's weak, it's disorganized, moves away, and then it becomes better organized and stronger. Uh, the difficulty is in a communication. Just when will it become a depression? When will it become a storm? In these scenarios, um, the difficulty, uh, the challenge is that we have more distance between us and them. And so depending on how quick they uh, get organized, there is that stretch of ocean, favorable warm sea surface temperatures that could allow them to become better organized and stronger. And uh, so that's what we're watching. And uh, comparing the two, 94 does have less distance to get to us. Uh, models are very quick pushing it off to the Northwest. Uh, so that is favorable uh, to give less opportunity to develop. Um, 93 is gonna be the one to watch. 93 is the one to watch. All right, so uh, that being said, are you seeing any hints of rapid intensification for 93W? Right now, not yet. Uh, some of the models, uh, we, we see uh, some of the, the more aggressive models that tend to like to uh, quickly develop things, uh, they're doing the usual. Uh, but we're, we're looking at uh, dozens, we're looking at 100 different model runs to kind of contextualize the development. And, and so right now I would, I would put, put 93 still uh, kind of in the middle ground. Uh, okay. Tropical storm uh, somewhere uh, northwest of the Marshall Islands. Now, what does it do after becoming a tropical storm, perhaps in two to three days? Um, that's still very uncertain. Um, but uh, right now, as I watch, we'll, we'll continue to assess it, monitor it. Uh, but right now, anything is on the table. Wow. All right. Um, thank you. I appreciate your candor and I appreciate your time on this. Is there anything you wanted to add? Yeah, um, this is a Veterans Day weekend. Uh, so we're going to have great weather for the next two days across the Marianas. Enjoy the weather. Uh, but don't turn your back on it. Uh, keep your eye on the forecast, weather.gov slash GUM. Uh, our forecaster will be updated uh, every 12 hours. And, uh, and so that's where we're going to put the latest information, our tropical weather discussion and area forecast discussion. Get inside our heads, and, and that's where you can see what we're, what we're thinking about the storms and, and, and their potential for development. And, uh, but have a good weekend, but watch out for that increasing showers and potential for a stronger gust on Veterans Day. I, I, I'm sorry, I have another question. Um, have you guys already engaged with the government of Guam and the uh, and joint region about what's going on? We, we've had some conversations with emergency managers. And uh, so uh, we, we're definitely communicating and talking about uh, the same scenario. Absolutely. How about the CNMI government? Same thing. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. So that kind of gives us an indication as, as to if the imminence of whatever, right? It, are you yeah and you know the 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 biggest thing is we go into a friday and and one we kind of relax on the weekends we don't want to be caught off guard on monday and, and so this is a perfect time to have the conversation we're having and, and the same conversation with emergency managers uh just go into the weekend um aware of things and uh, so that way when we come in on monday uh, if we have to be in, in place on the weekend, so be it. But at least uh, we go into Saturday uh, prepared and equipped. Can I call you uh, tomorrow morning for another interview so just to get an update on either of these storms? Absolutely. Anytime. Thank you so much, Brandon. I really appreciate your time. God bless you. Yes.